Good morning from my childhood bedroom in Yorkshire. Yes, I am back reunited with my family for the first time in seven months or so, I think, which is absolutely crazy because that's the longest time in my whole life, my whole 20, almost 28 years of living that I have not seen my parents because I'm super regimented with it. If you guys have followed me for a while, I usually see them once every single month. Either they come down to London or I go up to Yorkshire. It makes sure we see each other every roughly four weeks, despite living at other ends of England. And yeah, I've never had it be this long since I've seen them. So I'm absolutely buzzing to be back in Yorkshire for five days this week, spending time with my family, having lots of quality time. And I thought that today I could vlog for you a day in the life in Yorkshire because we're going to go on an adventure and we're going to see some nice, beautiful, natural beauty. And I think Yorkshire is just such a gem. It's such a gem of a place in the UK and it's underrated and I can't wait to show you some of the beautiful spots we're going to go and visit today. And also get my mum and dad on camera because I'm not going to lie, they do secretly love it a little bit. <laughs> and all the animals! Ah, oh, so many exciting things. Let's go downstairs. This is Blubber. She's one of the sisters and her sister Amber is that with a cat? Oh, what's that? What's that? It's a camera. Good morning. Good morning. This is Mum. You haven't seen her in a very, very, very long time. Very long time. <laughs> what are you, you going to have for breakfast, Mum? I'm going to have toast and marmite. Toast and marmite? I love marmite. I'm sorry, you either love it or you hate it, and I love it. And I hate it. And I love it. So I'm going to have peanut butter and jam. Homemade raspberry. Oh, yummy. Bring it on. So you didn't have marmite, did you? No. I changed my mind and went for some homemade Seville orange marmalade, which is just as delicious, and a banana. Lovely. Hmm. We've had recce. What's the plan now, Mum? We're going up to the moors, the North Yorkshire moors, which mm -hmm. is the nearest national park, and we are going to walk right on the top of the moors, really high up. We fancy going big skies and big views. Exactly. So yep. we're going to go see some beautiful North Yorkshire Moor goodness and we'll take you with us. Yep. Let's go. So we have just got to spot number one of the day, Chimney Bank, which is in the North Yorkshire Moors and it's absolutely stunning and the whole drive here I was just like nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia because basically my whole childhood was the moors wasn't it mum? Yes it was. Yeah I basically spent every week we were here at some point so it's yeah. very nice to be back and I'll show you some of the beautiful moors. <laughs> squeaking it's the thermos flask releasing air i think <laughs> so we just finished our walk along the top of the moors above rosedale on a little area called chimney bank and now we've driven down into rosedale which is just quintessentially such a beautiful yorkshire little quaint area and a tiny little village called thorgill which has got these narrow little roads and beautiful little stone cottages and this is where i spent so much of my childhood we would come on staycations here every single summer just stay in some cottages just here and go for walks around rosedale and i don't know it just feels amazing to be back this place has so many memories what's this this is a bench that we put in for my mum and dad oh it's got george ernest march yeah. on it as well yeah, my mum and dad's name on it oh, i thought it was just for your no. mum both because it was one of their favorite places I love that. Have a little seat. Have a little seat with Dad. <laughs> Amazing. Grandpa and Grandma. <laughs> What's that? That's our holiday home. Well, it's not it ours. It was for many years. It was for many, it was many, for years. many years. When Zana was a tiny little top. She first came when she was nine months old and the last time she came she was about 12. Yeah. Every year, two weeks. Mm -hmm. We loved it. We loved it. Loved it. In our little cottage. We're back again <laughs> to have a look, but it's not ours now. Not anymore. Not anymore. So this is the cottage we stayed in. And this is the view. 
third stop of the morning before lunch where are we adder creek and we would come here every day yeah swimming in our knickers paddling yeah yeah just picnicking. like picnicking whatever paddling, the weather finding the spring there's a there's a fresh spring here we used to bring our old sunny d bottles and get them filled up with fresh spring and we're going water, to try and we? find it again we're gonna try and find the spring it's like a needle in a haystack it's yeah, about half, it's about, knows if we'll find it, about a mile up there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go and explore. We're going to explore and find it. So the North Yorkshire Moors is the largest area of continuous moorland in the whole of England and is protected at national and European level. So this little moory, heathery goodness is, uh, is protected. And precious. And precious, Mum says. And precious. Dwayne leads the way. This is the spot. This is where we used to swim. So we'd climb up to where dad is. Can you see him? There's dad. So we'd climb up to there and then slide all the way down, all the way down into that pool at the bottom. And we'd just do it in our undies. <laughs> Literally every single year we'd come here, strip off and go for a swim in the freezing water. And we found it, fresh water spring. Dad's having a drink. How is it, Dad? Very fresh. Very Beautiful. fresh. I and it's really crystal intense. clear. No frogs in it this time. No frogs. Last time there was frogs, wasn't there? Baby frogs in it. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. It's so difficult to attack the water. He loves to attack the water. We have found ourselves a pretty little picnic spot next to the water. And Mum is queen of making picnics, so I'm very excited about this. This is the picnic situation. We have a salad with some leftover veggie sausages and falafel and then some vegan sausage rolls, some fruit, some hummus, some crisps. And tiffin. And tiffin. <laughs> and tiffin. <laughs> so we are back at the house now. It is mid-afternoon and I haven't actually told you this yet but mum and dad's puppy, who's definitely not a puppy anymore, he's practically a full-grown dog, but last time I saw him he was a puppy. It's been so long since I was last home. He has been super poorly and he's currently in Doggo Hospital being looked after. But we got a call from the vet and we were on our walk and apparently he has just become a new dog overnight and we should be able to pick him up today. So I'm so excited for you guys to be able to meet Ted. I don't think you've actually met him before on YouTube. He is a golden retriever. He's actually getting quite old now. I don't know how old he is. I'll have to ask mum and dad. But um, he's a big boy so I'm really excited for you to meet him. I wonder how much energy he will have today. But... Um, I'm really, really, really excited to see him. And I'm also excited to be back at the house and just surrounded by all of the fur babies. There's just so many cats and dogs and so many animals and my allergies are playing up to hell. But it's just worth it for all of the cuddles. Jinx! Hey! So these right here are my dad's veg patch. And what are we going to pick, Dad? We're going to try and pick some courgettes. Courgettes. Oh! Oh, yes! Oh look, and that's the courgette flowers. Oh, yeah. Nice. Fresh courgette. Lovely. Look at that. Doesn't get much fresher, does it, to be honest? Doesn't get any fresher. <laughs> and that in the middle of this big plant is a baby broccoli. And how many days till that's ready, Dad? About another five or six, probably. In five or six days, that'll grow to be a huge broccoli head. And then... In here, we have some sprouts that should be ready in a month's time. And this is Dad's greenhouse. Let's see what he's got going on in here. So we have strawberries. Beautiful, fresh strawberries. We have tomatoes. All different varieties. There's like these big, Beef juicy tomatoes. ones. Then what are these ones, Dad? These are... Uh, cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes, beef tomatoes. That's a yellow cherry tomato. Oh, yellow cherry tomato. And this is a mini plum tomato. Oh, these are the ones that Aunt and I buy. And here we have the cucumbers. Oh, and we have peppers. Red peppers. Yum. Now, I don't like tomatoes that much, but Dad is going to do a tomato taste test. I would say that. The reason why I have a lot of tomatoes is because I rather like them. <laughs> is it good? Excellent. Hey. 
Oh, now we're laying down, are we? Hey, old man. Otis is 16 or 17 years old. He's an old boy, aren't you? But you're a loving boy. What are we having for dinner, Mum? Fajitas. With? Vegan chicken. Vegan chicken. Yeah. Bring it on. Mum has sent me out to the freezer to get the vegan chicken and it looks like this is what I'm going to be having in my wraps tonight. And here is wrap number one in all its glory and there's going to be many wraps to follow, I'm sure. Oh Wait. So it turns out that Ted could not be picked up from the vet today, but if we do manage to pick him up this week, I will pop some footage in here of us collecting him so you get to see him. Here's Ted with his fancy little neck pillow, his collar and his bodysuit. Look at how big he is now. Last time I saw him he was a puppy and now oh. you are a dog. That is such a happy Ted now. Look at how happy you are. He looks like one of those kings who used to have those big neck things yes. and they had their portraits done. What a regal dog. What a regal doggo you are. What a good boy. What a good boy. So hopefully there was some footage there and hopefully I got to see him before I go back to London. And anyway, let's finish up this vlog, shall we, Dwayne? Should we finish up the vlog? You smelly old dog? This might be the last time you see this dog. I feel like he's on his left legs, aren't you, Dwayne? He's a bit deaf, he's a bit blind, he's very stiff, his legs keep giving way. You can hardly breathe and you smell very bad. But I love you so much and I hope I get to see you again. Come here, come here, come here, come here, you're a big fluff ball. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe and we'll see you super soon. <laughs> Bye! Isn't he just the cutest? I love you, Dwayne.